What's going on guys, it's me, Fan 2016 here, and today, we have another model plane comparison for you guys. I hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today, I'm going to be comparing two Alaska Boeing 737-700 BDSFs. One is from Gemini Jets, and one is NG Models. So, I'm very excited to compare all these models. So, they're pretty much like the same aircraft, but they're two different manufacturers. So, I'm very excited to like compare all these two models, and yeah, once again, I've been doing like... Well, I think during the start of the month, I've been doing like a, I'm starting to do like comparisons. Well, I rarely do comparisons because on the models I have, but it's nice to compare two manufacturers, especially when it's Gemini Jets and NG models. But other than that, I'm just very excited to compare these models together and see which one has more accuracy than the, like, like which model retailer has more accuracy and which ones can be pointed out. So I'm very excited for that. So, as always, we're gonna start with the box first, so let's compare these two boxes. Okay, so beginning here with the two boxes right here, we have the two boxes for the Alaska 737-700 BDSFs. And we're gonna start with the Gemini Jets first, but before I point that out, there's like a box size difference. So as you can see, the Gemini Jets box is a lot bigger than the NG Mall's box. And NG, I do like how NG has a smaller box for the 737, so most of like the aircraft can like fit in one cradle mode. But most like Gemini Jets, including their, well, well like some of their, well, their 787s, 820s, 737s, and E-175s, they have this box size, so it's kind of like bigger than the NG version. But under that, we're going to compare the Gemini Jets first, so there isn't really much to go over the Gemini Jets box too much. You could have the, yeah, it's pretty much just your generic Gemini Jets box. So you got the Gemini Jets logo, made for collectors by collectors. We got the CGI image of the aircraft right there, Boeing 737-700 BDSF. This is the Alaska Airlines logo right there. One 400 scale die cast small aircraft right there, look inside. And here are the sides, of course, they're pretty much the same at this point. And here's the back side of the model, so you got the aircraft taken off right there. You got like the Gemini Jets logo as well as it gets, you got all like the features right there. There's the social media pages right there, and the Boeing licensed product, and the Alaska trademark product right there. And this is a 2021 Gemini Jets release right there, so it has the 2021 Gemini Jets copyright label. I think this came from like the November 2021 releases from them, so quite interesting right there. And the item on this monitor is GJ ASA 2028. So that's the NG, well not the Gemini version, yeah that's the Gemini version of the Alaska 737. Now we move on to the NG which has much more better detail than the Gemini Jets, so you got the Boeing 737-7, excuse me. Oh, I need to like put this at the back. There we go. Just set that box aside. Uh, so you got the Boeing 737-700 BDSF tiles right there. You got the CGI image, CGI image of the aircraft. Excuse me again. And I do like on how Edgy Malls designed the box. You got like blue, like a kind of like a sky blue almost. You got a teal and then a light green. And then you got like half of the Alaska logo right there. Uh, NG Models is known for having these beautiful box arts, so this is one of them, and overall looks very nice. You got the Alaska Air Cargo. I do like on how NG added the Alaska Air Cargo instead of just having it Alaska. And this aircraft is registered November 625 Alpha Sierra. Uh, the Gemini version has a different registration. You got the NG Models logo right there, one for the scale collectible models, diecast mail. You got your Boeing licensed product right there. Here are the sides, of course they're kind of like the same, but there are some sides that are just different, so I'll just show you guys th that right now. The backs is also pretty much the same, you got the edgy logo right there, you got their social media pages, Boeing licensed product again, and here are your warning hazards, and the item number of this model is 77018. So yeah, those are the two differences of the boxes for the NG and Gemini Jets versions, and yeah. To be honest, I rather prefer like the NG version because it has more design while Gemini Jets, they've been sticking with their generic design for like years so yeah it's kind of like getting old to this point but I do like on how NG just like designed their boxes which is very nice so that's all of like the, mo like the box review for that portion. Now let's move on to the model comparison itself. And here are the two models now going face to face to each other to see which model is more accurate. So. Of course, we're gonna start with the very front of the aircraft. So as you can see, there's pretty much like a difference already. So what I'm seeing, one thing to note is that the nose landing gear sits a lot higher on the Gemini version as compared to the NG version. And also I do want to note that the nose landing gear door, it's much thicker and it doesn't extend too much 
one, the edgy version, it has more realistic accuracy, so as you can see, it's the nose lighting indoor is much thinner and it extends all the way somewhere right there. So I think edgy deserves a point on that. Also, the nose lighting gear has more realistic detailing on the edgy version, so that's very nice. Um, other than that, so as you can see, you can see more clearly because like uh, this is supposed to be the middle. It just sits a little too high for the Gemini version. So yeah, that is what it is. The cockpit window detail printing is also very nice too. The probably all building tiles is also printed nicely too. And then I think the nose shape also has a much more difference. So as you can see, this is like the nose shape of the Gemini version. Um, it's almost likely the same yet again. It kind of feels a little bulky. While this one, it's just right. It's just right. The NG version is just right. So as you can see, it has a much more nicer curve. And then it curves all the way like that. Just like the realistic aircraft. You got the L1 border door on the NG and the R door on the Gemini. So as you can see, I also want to like point out about the detailing of like the cargo door. So let me just scoot that aside. Alright, so we're going to start with the cargo door right there. So... Here is the cargo door of the Gemini version, as you can see, oops, kind of a bit tail heavy sometimes, but here's the cargo door. Overall, I think Gemini just did a very nice job on putting the cargo doors right there. You also got the Alaska billboard tiles and the air cargo as well. And you also got like some more details and static point detail right there. As I mentioned, there's the L door right there. So looking very nice. And yeah, now as I bring the NG version, I think NG version has a lot more detailing so this is the ng version right there so as you can pretty much see of course they also put in like the printing of the alaska tiles right there very nicely but i mean you can't really see much of the cargo door that much but what i do like is there is addition to these orange ticks which is very nice of course you also got like the base area for the cargo hold of course stack point detail and like all the others l1 born door and yeah what I also do like about the NG version is you can see the passenger windows very clearly on this model as compared to the Gemini. So let me like scoot in my Gemini right there. Now you know it's kind of like blocking it, but as you can see by the Gemini version, while you can still pretty much see like the windows, you can't really hardly see them properly. Like from this side, I'm looking at it with my own eye. Uh, it's kind of like hard to see, but on the NG, I like on how they put in like the windows right there very clearly so very nice another part i do want to talk about is like there's only one top antenna right there which is the same thing for like the ng version so let me take the ng version so here is the top version like the top beacon light right there not the beacon light top antenna right there next up i do want to compare the engines and size like the sizing in the engines so let me just set it like this so as you can pretty much see you could already tell there's like a difference already so as you can see on the Gemini version, I think the Gemini version is a bit too big, as you can see. So like, I think their CFM mold for the CFM, the CFM 56 engines for the 737 is a bit too big as compared to the NG version. They managed to like get the right size for like the CFM 56 on the NG 737 one. So I think NG still deserves the point right there. Moving on to like the middle section of the aircraft, so actually not really exactly middle section, but let's move on to the wings. So as you can see, there is a big difference in the wings. So as you can see, well, let's look at the winglets. So, come on, I'm trying to like make sure I get this thing moving. Alright, so there we go. So as you can see, there is already like a big difference in the wings. The winglet on the Gemini version is smaller than the NG version, and not... Also to note that the NG version is has more like how can I word this? The winglet on the NG version is more I think it's more thicker than just like the yeah the NG is a lot thicker and longer than the Gemini version as you can pretty much see. Also it doesn't really like angle up. It's like an nearly like a 90 degree angle, but this one is like it's just right, edge of version. That's like a 87 degree angle, I think, maybe, or maybe like an 85 degree angle for the NG version. Not sure if I'm focusing it properly. But yeah, I mean, I don't know if you could really, there we go, so that you can see much better. So, there, come on, you could, it was getting it, I don't, I don't know what happened. Let me try putting my hand there. 
Um, I mean, there we go, perfect. Let me just autofocus that. So as you can pretty much see, the Gemini version, you can see a lot more better. So the Gemini version, the winglet on this one, is smaller than the NG version, but the NG version also has a um, much more sicker, not sicker, a thinner winglet than the Gemini version. So I think NG still deserves a point right there, so you can tell the difference right there. Also the wing flex, I mean like, I don't know how I could like think of it. Uh, almost like the wing flex are pretty much level to each other. Yeah, I think, uh, it appears like the wing flex is kind of like level. Also, you can see the CFM engines. You can't hardly see the engine fan blades that much because like, I mean, it's a small engine. So, yeah, that's pretty much like reasonable right there. And yeah, so that's the winglet right there and the wings. Moving on to like some wing detail, so this will be the Gemini version, this is the Gemini version, so as you can see, uh, not much on detail, it's pretty much the same, so as you can see, you got your cold soul fuel frost right there, hang on, okay, just gotta make sure that the wing is centered, uh, okay, I think this is good, so you got the cold soul fuel frost right there, you got some leading edge detail, the slats, engine pylons, and then you got your flap track bearings right there, you can't hardly see much of like, ground spoiler details and flight spoiler well you can slightly see them but it's not like printed or welded or like cut well enough not really cut but you can't hardly see it from this like from this side so that's the wing detail for the gemini now as for the ng version i think ng is, a, is pretty much a lot more better as you can see so they added an addition to like the leaning edge, not leaning edge, so well let's start off with the leaning edge, so here are the leaning edge details right there, flap track fairings, and of course you got the ground spoilers, almost kind of similar to like the Gemini, you can't hardly see it, although Denji is known to have all these like well details on the wings, but what I do like is they added like cold soak fuel frosts that are just split, so here's one section and here's another section, in addition to that, they also have the emergency exit slide indicator or just emergency exit indicator right there. That was not present on the Gemini version, although I'm not sure which one if both of Alaska 737-700 BDSFs have an emergency exit indicator but you can see the emergency exit door right there and yeah there, it's not present on this model right here but as for the NG you can see it right there and they have the emergency exit indicator right there. So. That's a plus point for NG models right there, and yeah, do like and how NG does all like these detailing. Now moving on to the back side, so let me just set her like this, and then we're gonna compare it to the back side. So here is the back side of the aircraft. So as you can see, also to note that NG has bottom antennas, while the Gemini Jets version does not. I'll show you another detail when I get into the top and body views, but as you can see, of course. I'm not sure about this, but almost like both tails appear like sit, like the tips of the tail almost appear to be leveled with it, each other. But when I look at it on the camera, it kind of looks like the NG version. Um, I don't know, but it kind of looks like the tips of the tail appear to be like seated, like aligned with each other. So yeah, that's that. So as you can see, here's the back section of the aircraft. You got your L2 doors right there. And of course, these are the different registrations. So you got November 825 Alpha Sierra for the NG and November 627 Alpha. Hang on. Am I reading the registration correctly? Hang on, guys. Um, okay, I'm just making sure. So the registration for the NG is November 625 Alpha Sierra and the Gemini version is November 627 Alpha Sierra. I'll go into this registration once I begin like reviewing and talk about the history of this model. And as you can see, you got chesters right there. These are the chesters right there on the tails. I think, from what I can tell, I think there's a lot more detailing on the Gemini version. Yet again, I think there's more detailing, and I think the printing of the logo is much more accurate on the NG version. Well, as compared to, like, the Gemini version. I think maybe it's a little too large, I'm not sure. But, either way, almost look identical to each other. I also do like on how NG is able to, like, replicate. Because I think this... I think this blue on the Gemini, Ge the Gemini version, the blue on this one, the navy blue, I'm talking about that one, it kind of appears a bit, well, dull, while it appears much more saturated on the edgy version. That goes for the same for these colors right there. Which, uh, they almost look like the same, but I think NG still takes the cake on the coloring because of their saturation, so that's nice right there. 
And as you can see, these are the horizontal stabilizers right there. I think the horizontal stabilizers on the Gemini version appear to be much higher than the Angie version, but yet again, that's how Gemini just makes their molds, so I'm not gonna really complain much right there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for all like these two models on how I would compare them. So yeah, now I'm also gonna compare like the top, bottom, fronts, and backs. So we're gonna transition into that right now. Alright, let's have a look at the top section of the Gemini Jets version. So, here's the top view right there. Some nice detailing overall from Gemini Jets as you can see right there. Like the addition to the red beacon light and that. Oh crap! Oh man, uh, apparently that I do have a loose antenna which I don't know what happened but yet again, it is what it is. But it's just me going over these models but hey. I mean, like, there could be times where I get loose antennas, but I'm not really going to complain too much right there. I think the hole is a little too big for this antenna, so once again, I'm not going to complain too much right there. But as I try to insert it, there we go. So, yeah, I got just got to be careful with that. So, yeah, here's the top view of the aircraft right there. Looking very nice. Moving on to the bottom section. So, here's the bottom section of the aircraft. So, as you can see, you got your stand hole right there. I do like on how they added the cutout for the main landing gear right there. So that's a nice addition to that. You also got the Gemini Jets logo right there. And you also got 700 on the very fun right there. And yeah, very nice. You also got like the air intakes right there that's printed very nicely. Moving on to the front section. Hopefully that antenna is still there. Yep, it's still there. So here's the front section of the aircraft. Of course, you can see the winglets. Of course, they are too thick. And yeah, not really as accurate. Also to mention that they're close to like a 90 degree angle at some point. Like it's close to like a 90 degree angle. Especially this this starboard wing is pretty much a 90 degree angle. So yeah, Gemini Jets. I mean like, uh, don't get me wrong, their 737 mold isn't even that bad. But there's some QC problems that needs to be fixed. So as you can see, I do like on how the nose landing gear is not as clunky. But you had this like main landing gear that's... The nose landing gear just sometimes moves. Well, it doesn't really move, but it did not place at the right place. And moving on to the back section. Here it is. So you can see like that horizontal stabilizer difference. So you can see on how to like point it too high. But yeah, that's how it is. And as I roll the aircraft, it does roll, but not as like too freely as compared to like the edge version, which I've got to talk about. The main landing gear mainly just rolls. So yeah, that's that. Now moving on to the top section of the NG version. So as you can see, I think there's a lot more detailing with the NG version. And I do like how NG adds that. You also got the red beacon light right there. And here's the top antenna right there. Of course, they managed to like fit the small antenna at a more accurate hole size. So that's very nice right there. Also, I do want to mention, I think the coloring on the white appears different. So when I look at these two models, I think... This one appears more white, so the Gemini version appears more white, while this one appears to be like a faded white almost. So, not sure which one's which, but I think Gemini Jets has a more accurate white than just like the NG version, but they're almost pretty much the same at this point. So, not gonna complain too much right there. But moving on to the bottom section of the NG version, quite different. I do love on how they did the cutout of the air intakes right there, so that's very nice. They also added like the cutouts for the main landing gear holes right there. You also got your bottom antennas right there. So here are your bottom antennas. Looking very nice. And there's no stand hole on this model right here. And you don't see like the NG logo anywhere. Moving on to the front section of the aircraft. Let me just set her like this. There we go. So here she is right there. This is the front section. Much more accurate wings and winglets right there. And I do like on how the nose gear is printed in like it's placed in the middle. So I'm referring to the tires. And moving on to the back section of the aircraft, here it is. So, you can see the horizontal stabilizers are much more accurate and well placed. And as I roll the aircraft, you can see that the aircraft does roll freely compared to the Gemini. Which in this case, both of like the nose landing gear and main landing gear rolls. So that's very nice right there. And is there anything else that I do want to compare before we move on? Um, I was thinking of something, but uh, I kind of like slipped it into my mind, but... I think there isn't really much to go over too much, but other than that, both of these models are amazing, but yet again, I think NG has more accuracy than just the Gemini version. So yeah, those are the two Alaska 737s right there. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for all these models. Now I'm gonna go into the history and review like every like detail of this model's release. So we're gonna start with the Gemini Jets version first. So let's get started in that portion. So beginning the history of the Gemini Jets version of the Alaska Air Cargo Boeing 737-700 BDSF, this model came out on Gemini Jets' October slash November 2021 releases. And yeah, this model is now two years old at this point, so very interesting right there. And I decided to like, get this model because I did see this exact registration, November 627... Was it 6... Yeah, it was November 627, Alpha Sierra at Seattle Tacoma International Airport back in September 2021. I know I got like a crappy photo of that, but... I'm like, at least I saw the registration. I hope if I could see this registration again when I go back to Seattle, hopefully it turns out a lot better. But under that, I'm just really glad to have this model in my collection. Now, since I had the NG version, I'm actually not gonna sell this model because I just saw this exact registration. So, yeah, other than that, that model looks very nice. And yeah, while Gemini Jetsu 737 mold has a couple of QC issues, I mean, like, it's not a bad mold from Gemini Jets, it's not as bad as like the A320 molds. But other than that, I think Gemini Jets still did a great job on their 737 mold, and I do like the detailings on their 737 molds from the winglets, the engines, and the tail, so it's very nice. And if you're wondering where I got this mall from, um, I think I got it from Panda Fox Toys and I unboxed this model on Mass Unboxing 3. I think that's where this model originated from, so yeah, I took that mass unboxing. I filled that mass unboxing way back last year, somewhere around May or something, or probably around late April. But yeah, really nice to have this model. And yeah, it should serve something for my collection for many years to come. So that's the Gemini Jets version of the Alaska 737-700 BDSF. Now let's move on to the NG version. Now as for the NG models version, this model is a lot younger than the Gemini Jets version, well, kinda like young but not too young, as this model came out on NG's August 2022 releases, so kinda like nearly almost like a few months since Gemini Jets released their version, and yeah, they also released the Alaska 737-700 with passenger windows in that same release set, so I decided to get this model because I want to like have a more accurate Alaska Air Cargo 737-700 in my collection so I can like swap between this one and the Gemini Jets version if I ever feature this model at a certain airport update, probably like in a future airport update. But yeah, so yeah this model is very nice though. I do like this model and overall it does seem more accurate than the Gemini version. And yeah, NG Mall still continues to nail all the like detailings on their molds from 737s, AC21s, and their wide body fleet, so that's very nice. And if you're wondering where I got this model, I bought this model kind of like around that Black Friday area. I forgot what retailer it was, maybe it was West Coast, maybe it was Panafox, I don't exactly know, I couldn't remember from the top of my head. But I did unbox this model during Mass Unboxing 7, so... Yeah, one of like a newer Mass Unboxing, of course Mass Unboxing 8 is already there. And then I have a, two more Mass Unboxings I need to do for this year, so. Yeah, very nice model once again from NG Models. And yeah, for this model, I think I want to like mix it between like the Gemini and the NG version. If ever I do like an airport update once again. But yeah, very nice model from Gemini Jet, not Gemini Jets, NG Models. I'm not sure if either of these models are sold out on NG or Gemini's website, but I think there might be some available for like the NG version, I might have to like check. Maybe like Gemini Jets' version is already sold out at this point, despite that model is now 2 years, but yet again that model is like a year old. So yeah, quite an interesting history for both of these models right here. And that's gonna do it for today's video, so let me just conclude my thoughts. And then we're gonna finish this video from here. So to conclude today's video, both of these versions are amazing, but I can say that the NG version is a lot more better than the Gemini Jets version. While there's some QC problems for the Gemini Jets version, at least their 737 mold is good. So I'm not saying like superior or anything, it's just good, but not as like very superior and perfect as compared to the NG. So yeah. That's what it is for the Gemini Jets 737 mold, and yeah, hopefully they can make some improvements. Now, I checked on Gemini Jets' website, and the Gemini Jets version of the Alaska 737 BDSF 
is already sold out on their website so I hope some retailer still has this model on their shelves but the edgy version is still available so yeah it's still available as of today so you can get your hands on the NG version but I think more people went ahead and bought the Gemini version as compared to the NG. I think that's probably like the reason why at least I have both of these models in my collection to like diverse my fleet a bit. So yeah very nice and yeah it can it just shows the difference between Gemini Jets and NG. I know Gemini Jets and NG models are very competitive with each other. I think I was back during like the 2020, 2021 days and probably like 2019 as well so quite interesting right there. There are some models that Gemini Jets had released first and there are some models that NG released first but yeah most people like may prefer NG some may prefer like some may prefer Gemini Jets and yeah but for me I like NG. NG is a very nice company and their customer service is amazing. I'm not sure I haven't seen any like updates on Gemini Jets' status update in terms of customer service but I did like had a post I did screenshot a post of a very good customer service I have for one like story I ended up taking. So yeah, I think Gemini Jess's customer service is improving almost. But yet again, I haven't seen any like screenshots of Gemini Jess's backlashing other customers. But I hope Gemini Jess does not go into that direction. But all I can say, I think I'm starting to become more loyal to Gemini Jess because like I think Gemini Jess, they are an amazing company. But I think NG has just like a lot of good models in their shelves. But all I can say, once again, both of these models are amazing. And I'm looking forward to what you guys think of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn on that post notification bell so you won't, so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. Excuse me. And more mall plane comparisons are going to come in the future. Of course, I uncommonly post these mall plane comparisons. Probably is because of my malls I have in my collection, but hopefully there's one coming soon in the near future. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.